In the span of a week or so, my last Dragon Ball Super video has almost gotten 30 views and 3 likes. Now, for me, and how big of a channel I am, that's actually honestly pretty surprising because if you look at the views that I get on my channel, I don't get that much, but considering that that was like my first ever Dragon, Dragon Ball like anything video, um, that, I, that was honestly really surprising to me. And I want to go ahead and just, in the beginning of this video, thank you guys for the support on that video. It means so much to me, and uh, if, you can, if you guys can support the fuck out of this video, um, I would really appreciate that. But anyways, back onto the main topic of what I wanted to talk about in this video was <laughs> Dragon Ball Super episode 57 and my review on it i literally i literally just watched it like tw like um, like five minutes ago like two minutes ago whatever and literally dragon ball super has done nothing but just surprise and amaze me with what it's been doing so far now and now i can go on on and on and on and on and on about dragon ball super and what i think about it but if you honestly want to know what I think about Dragon Ball Super, I will leave um, my, my opinions and stuff like that on, about Dragon Ball Super thus far um, in the link in the description so you can guys can go watch that video. And there will probably be an annotation on the screen if I can remember that. But anyways, on episode 57, it starts off with it starts off with Samasu and Black looking down over to Vegeta, who was, who was weakened in the last fight in the, in the, the ending portion of episode 56 against Black after he had got stabbed in the chest. And he was also looking down at Trunks, who literally has not fought in, like, since they got back to the future. And then Goku, who had fought uh, Black just briefly before they had cut off the episode. But anyways, at the beginning of, the ep of episode 57, it started off with Samasu and Black, and they were discussing stuff, whatever they were talking about, with, with Black, uh, uh, I'm not, not Black, I'm sorry, with Goku, Trunks and Vegeta, and what they found out is is that uh, Goku Black and Samasu are not this are not the same person. They are not the same person at all. So that so the theory about like oh Samasu and Black are the same person, you can go ahead and throw that theory like all out of the ballpark because that's not even like a confirmed thing anymore at this point. They're not the same person. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and and say that I had a theory like just a couple of days ago that I was gonna make a video on. But then by the time the, the episode 57 got released, I was pretty much too late to want to like record it and upload it. But basically my theory was is that Zamasu from the present timeline was the Zamasu that showed up at the end of, the, of, end of episode 56. Because if you think about it, there's no way uh, fu uh, future Universe 10 Zamasu would know about, about um, Goku. Because Goku had died way back in the Android Saga from the heart virus. So there's no way the Universe 10 future Zamasu would know of Goku's existence. Uh, the only existence that he would know is of Trunks and the humans that were on planet Earth, or it, or at least just humans in general, and maybe not Trunks, but just humans in general. There could have been no way for Zamasu for, uh, there could have been no way for Zamasu to know who Goku is, which I'm gonna go ahead and get later on in the video and say that is a plot hole. But anyways, uh, it then cuts off from uh, Black and Zamasu talking to Goku and, and Trunks and everything, and then it goes off to a 2v1 against against Goku of Zamasu and Black, and it's literally, they're just going at it at each other, and it's, well, actually, it starts off with a 1v1 of Zamasu and Black, oh, not Black, I'm sorry, and of Goku, I'm messing up my words because I'm still, like, in shock of what I just watched of the episode, so I apologize if I'm stumbling on my words. But anyways, it's, it's a fight in the beginning of Zamasu and Goku, they're fighting each other, and then all of a sudden, Black decides to show up out of nowhere and then strike um, an attack over at Goku. Now what he says after that is this body wants to um, like fight or something like that, which means the, the entity and the personality of what, who, who Goku Black is, is entirely completely different of, uh, from who he actually is. Goku Black isn't who we think he is, and that's what's honestly making the character um, a lot more surprising and the more we, we see of him because we think he's just a whole different entity of like who he is but he's actually just a different person but in Goku's uh, probably deceased body because there could have been no other body for his, uh, for his soul and his, and his mind or whatever to go into. But anyways, then into 2v, 2v1 of Goku versus Zamasu in black and then Trunks out of nowhere just, come, just comes into the fight 
and starts fi fighting Zamasu in black with Goku, and it was just it was pretty fucking awesome because he was um, like striking them with his sword. And if you saw, uh, if you know the uh, Zamasu in black, they have like the little like sword key thing of, from from their hand. And uh, Trunks was attacking him with a sword. I thought that was really, I thought that was really cool. I wish we could have seen a little bit more of that. But from what we did see, I thought that was actually pretty, pretty fucking awesome. And I would want to see more of that. And the next, the next time they go back to the future. But I, I digress. But anyways, 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 anyways. Then of course, uh, Zamasu and Trunks start fighting each other. But the thing that really had shocked me was that Trunks actually struck. Zamasu with a sword, obviously, but he had uh, uh, stabbed him with the sword through his stomach. But then after after that, um, when it zooms back in on Zamasu, he's not even really hurt by it. He's he, like literally like his wound, his stab wound from a fucking sword, just then heals, and it's not even like he exists anymore. And then he goes off and says like, "Oh, you humans are much more powerless than what you can ever be compared to God because now apparently Zamasu is an immortal he cannot fucking die he's basically just healing all the time he's, he's basically Deadpool but that's but I digress again but anyways 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 I say I say anyways a lot but that's what's up but Zamasu is basically an immortal now, and you can't really beat an immortal because well they're fucking immortal but then they go off, they start fighting each other again, and then <laughs> the, Goku and uh, Trunks are just like in shock of what's going on with Zamasu and everything, right? Because he can't be hurt. Zamasu cannot be hurt because he is just somehow immortal. And they're t uh, Zamasu's talking to, uh, to Trunks and Goku, and then they're distracted and stuff like that, and then Zamasu's like, let's just end this or whatever. Whatever he said, I don't remember what he said at that moment. And then Black from behind then powers up his own uh, Kamehameha. And to me, I thought that was pretty surprising because I didn't think Black would know the Kamehameha, but I, I guess it's whatever considering that he's in Goku's body, but I guess it doesn't really matter in the long run. But but he, he's, he then starts powering up his own Kamehameha. And the thing that happened next was, was honestly, like I, I kind of saw it coming. But at the same time, it was like kind of surprising because Zamasu from behind, as uh, Trunks and Goku were uh, were um, getting ready to then dodge the Kamehameha from Black, Zamasu then takes takes a hold of both Goku and Trunks, and then and then he's just standing there. He's just standing there holding both of them, and then he takes the hit because you know he can't be damaged and he can't die. And then G Goku and Trunks are just there on the ground, just defeated and injured and shit like that. And then Zamasu and, and then Goku, uh, Goku Black, I'm sorry, uh, then power up their own version of the Super Vanishing Ball from the fucking uh, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z universe. And then out of nowhere, Vegeta fires off like a blast that destroys um, the ball of ki that was planning on destroying basically the entire planet if they really wanted to. And then just Vegeta passes out, you know, because he's got that fucking stab wound in his chest. And then. Um, as like, the, the, like there was smoke, obviously, because there was smoke from the destroyed key blast, and then I don't, and then I don't know, I don't know uh, why they decided to put this in. I guess just because uh, this, this character is such an iconic character for Dragon Ball. But Yajirobe, he comes out of nowhere. He then starts dragging Goku and Trunks on the ground, and I, I find that kind of funny because you know Yajirobe never learned how to fly, so he was just dragging him on the ground and shit. But then he's, you know, he's dragging him on the ground, and then Goku's like, yo, my butt hurts, can you, like, can we not, like, drag me on the fucking ground, please? And then Yajiro was just like, no, I can't fly, and, like, you guys, shut the fuck up and stop complaining. I thought that was funny, but, um, then, um, Mai, Mai and her men from the future, you know, they, they then, uh, shoot out some smoke bombs and shit, right, so they can get Vegeta out of there, and of course they end up getting Vegeta out of there. Um, and then they go to where Yajirobe, Goku, and Trunks were. Uh, Mai then takes the time machine that, uh, from Trunks from his pocket, uh, takes it out of the capsule, and then uh, uh, Trunks, uh, Vegeta, and Goku then go back to, uh, to the past. I'm sorry, I almost said the future, but the past. Because, uh, A, they're not strong enough to go against Super Saiyan Bros, Goku Black, and Zamasu, who's basically a fucking immortal. And Mai, she does not go with them. She stays there and she basically just says, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, sacrifice my own life so you can live on because you're our last hope. And in the, in the Cell arc, I was, I was watching Geekton's video like an hour ago, 
and he was said one of the occurring themes in the Cell arc is hope. And I feel like the same thing is going on right now with uh, the future Trunks arc in Super. Like, Trunks is humanity's last hope. Huma uh, humanity is literally at the at a brink of its ex uh, extinction. Uh, literally, there's very little fucking humans on planet Earth right now, and Trunks is literally the last living hope of what they have to defeat Goku Black and Zamasu. And he goes to the past to get Goku and Vegeta so that they can help out, but even then, they can't even fucking do anything because Goku Black and Zamasu are so much powerful than what, than what they were um, previously before and a, a few episodes back. And then, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. That was a, that was a, that was a mouthful. Anyways, um, Vegeta, Trunks, and Goku, they get back to the past. They fall out of the time machine, of course, because Vegeta's hurt. He's like all knocked out and shit. And then Bulma's like, oh my god, I can't believe what the fuck just happened. How could this happen? And shit like that, right? Same with uh, Kid Trunks. And then, yeah. And then at the, at the very end of the episode, the very end of the episode, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen uh, on Dragon Ball Super so far, or just like in, an in any anime in general. They were talking about um, uh, God Tube, which is their uh, uh, play on words and, and spinoff of YouTube. And then uh, the Kaioshin from uh, Universe 10 was like, yo, I, I should become, a, I, I think I'm, uh, I think on becoming a God Tuber which is a play on words of a YouTuber, which I thought was actually pretty comical. But then, of course, because Zamasu is an is in princess in training of becoming the next Kaioshin in Universe 10, uh, he uh, he was actually watching the fight of Hit and uh, in Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, in the tournament from uh, Universe 6 and 7 of uh, Gods of Destruction for the Super Dragon Balls. And the thing that was really surprising to me is how um, interested Zamasu was in the Super Dragon Balls, and if you remember that one episode where uh, they were trying to, uh, where Bulma and the others were trying to find out more information about the Super Dragon Balls, they went to that one guy's place. I don't remember what his name was. Uh, uh, let me know in the comments what his name is because I completely forgot. But Zamasu goes to his place and he's like, "Yo, tell me all the shit that you know about the Super Dragon Balls," and I mean everything. And uh, and I thought that was just so surprising because now he's like all interested in, in, in the Super Dragon Balls. Excuse me, and uh, I, I was just really surprised on um, like why he's like so interested in, in, in the Dragon Balls, the Super Dragon Balls. And that's, and of course that's gonna like, that's gonna like lead up back into like the next episode and he's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But I digress, I don't know any information about that yet. I might make a, I might make a separate video on, on just whatever I can find on the internet about a preview the next episode but we'll see i i, I kind of want to see uh how much support this video can get but anyways um early in the video i was talking about how uh, zamasu in the future doesn't know shouldn't or shouldn't know about goku and how that was a plot hole now my whole theory was is that um in, in the future goku had died in the android saga from a heart virus so therefore anybody from a different universe like the god destruction let's say or the Supreme Kai, uh, or whatever, they should not know of Goku's existence because there's there's no way they can know of their ex existence because he's dead and they they would have only known him if he was alive. So what doesn't make any sense is that how uh, the future Zamasu knows of Goku who's from Universe Seven and Zamasu from Universe Ten and he's a princess of becoming a Kaioshin. That just doesn't make any sense to me. That, like, that that's literally a plot hole. Like my whole theory was. I got sidetracked from what I was talking about, but anyways, my theory was is that uh, the, f the present timeline Zamasu uh, stole one of the time rings, and he went into the Future Trunks timeline, and he had created Goku Black, so he could then create a utopia uh, for uh, for like where humans are, are aren't existed anymore, and he knew that Trunks would go uh, back into the past uh, somehow with the time machine, uh, and then get Goku, and they would go back into the future, and then fight. Uh, against Goku Black and then therefore he would then start the plan to kill him and that was my whole theory I was gonna make a whole separate video like I said but literally like the episode 57 completely threw my theory out of the ballpark like literally like uh, like literally they just completely took a shit on it and, and whatever but like I said it's a plot hole that doesn't make any sense at all because how does future uh, future universe Tenzamasu know of Goku. It just doesn't make any sense to me. 
but maybe I missed something. Maybe there's more to it and I'm just not realizing it. I don't know. Um, let me know what your theories are in the comments below because I would be very uh, interested to see what you guys have to think about it. But then it then it goes off to the end credits of, uh, of uh, episode 57 of Dragon Ball Super. And I will say this, episode 56, I actually really liked that episode. I, I don't know if it was the best episode, but it was one of the better episodes of Dragon Ball Super. Now, does, does, now does episode 57 come close to that? To me, I would say that. Because we learned a little bit more about Zamasu and who he is and what he's going for. And we still don't know any information about Goku Black, but... Again, let me know in the comments uh, who you think Goku Black is, and uh, what how he, how he ties in with Zamasu and shit like that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end up the video. I've been recording for almost 16 minutes long now, so this is gonna take a little bit of time a little bit of time for me to render this. I'm I'm gonna have this video out um, a little bit later today, maybe around. Uh, let's see. It's it's 11:45 a.m. right now. It's early in the. It, well, I say it's early in the morning, but it's it's in the morning right now. I might have this around 12 12:30, uh, 1 o'clock at best. It, it, it shouldn't take that long to render uh, this whole video, but maybe around 12 12:30. 12 um, I know it doesn't really. Uh, I I know it doesn't really fucking uh, affect y'all that much because this is post recorded, but that still it, I don't fucking care. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys want to see more uh, Dragon Ball Super Review episodes uh, on the channel, be sure to leave a like and a comment saying if you want to see more of that shit. And also let me know some theories of what I was just talking about, like literally just like a second ago. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end off the video now. Peace. <laughs>